Hey, welcome back to Fit Survive Channel. So what we have here is a kit that I put together uh, for whenever I want to be able to carry a super compact EDC uh, kit. So what we have here is just a, a tin can. And so this is like two and a half inches by three and three quarters and just about just under one inch uh, thick here. I know these tin cans come in a bunch of different sizes. So first of all, under the lid I have a picture of uh, me and my wife. So that can come in handy uh, just for like a morale booster or if you're looking for a lost person. Then underneath that picture I have some spare cash. All right, then right up top um, I have, this is a moldable glue called Sugru. And so it's kind of like Play-Doh. And then what you can do is you can mold it into whatever shape you want. And when it dries, it actually ends up staying almost like a rubber. And so it's almost like flexible. And so it's good for like fixing things um, or for even like, if you're you want to like design something. Um, there's some more in there, I can't seem to get it out. And so basically, literally, it's just like a, a Play-Doh. And so you can uh, make this into whatever shape you want. Uh, like I said, for fixing things or for, you know, making things. And so it's a nice little thing to be able to carry in a kit like this. All right, and then on the inside here, a couple of things. All right, in this little Ziploc baggie, what I have here is I have some um, waterproof matches. Uh, since I'm not a smoker, um, I would not get enough use out of a lighter to really justify uh, the space that a, that a lighter would take. And so if I need to, uh, five matches will definitely get me through uh, whatever I'll be needing. And what I have here, uh, this is some Kevlar string. If you've never used this before, uh, it's some really tough stuff. And so it come in handy. And then I have a P38 uh, can opener. I get for a small little kit, this comes in handy. Uh, if you open up any kind of like, canned foods and stuff, that can make it like, like literally like a breeze. And then I have some paper clips, uh, a safety pin, and a needle with some thread on it already. In case I need to do some emergency repairs. And then I have uh, some painkillers. Painkillers are actually one of the most requested items uh, from my EDC kit. Like if somebody comes up asking for something, usually they're asking for a painkiller for a headache or whatever else. And then what I have, uh, basically this is a pin cartridge. And I've taken some uh, Gorilla tape, and I've wrapped it around it, um, making it larger and easier to hold. But then also whenever you need tape, this can easily be unrolled and got quite a bit of uh, tape on here. All right, so I have Gorilla tape here, and then I have some electrician's tape on the back. All right, then for multi-tool, I use the Leatherman Squirt. Uh, it's a really small, compact little tool, but actually it performs really well. Uh, the pliers are actually really good on this. Uh, they're kind of like spring-loaded, and so really handy. On the outside, it has um, a nail file, and it has a pocket knife, small little knife on it. And on the back, it has a bottle opener and a large flat screwdriver small flat screwdriver. And on this side it has a really nice set of scissors. It was actually really sharp, pretty impressive. And so definitely pleased with that. For its size, uh, the Leatherman Squirt really, really, really performs uh, well. All right, then I have some salt in case some food needs some uh, extra flavoring while I'm out. All right, aspirin for natural uses. All right, then right here is where I have the striker for the matches. I intentionally put those uh, separately just so it wouldn't be rubbing uh, in the case. Then I have some uh, single-use lip balm. I like, if maybe you've noticed if you watched my previous videos, I like carrying a uh, lip balm in my kits. Uh, they, something that comes in handy often that use, gets used quite often also. Then I have this O-Light here. It's a really tiny little compact light. I'm a light that it does not have a button, that way it does not act, accidentally get activated and you have the battery run dead. You have to literally screw it and then once you get just halfway, it's um, kind of a dim light and then you screw it the rest of the way and uh, it's nice and bright. And also it is uh, micro USB rechargeable. Kind of unfortunate that it's not Type-C, but this is one of their older models before Type-C was really a big thing. All right, then I do have a small little cable here for charging my phone or where for plugging into a computer, whatever. So it's uh, USB A to USB Type C. All right, then I have Boker's credit card knife, and so this is literally, I think they say it's like three credit cards thick, and so it's super thin little knife, and then it opens up to be uh, actually quite usable. I'd, I'd have to say, and so again in this kit, um, it fits really well. 
and it's definitely nice to be able to have a large blade because on the squirt, the knife is really small. Uh, you know, it's not bad, but nonetheless, having a larger blade is going to come in handy, even in a small kit like this. All right, then I have some triple antibiotic ointment uh, for using with the band-aids. We'll get into here in a bit. All right, then also what I have is, I had these in all my kits. I think I demonstrate them every time. But basically what it is, uh, these are compressed towels. And so once you get them wet, then they grow into like a wet wipe. Or you can leave them wet and use them as uh, like a dry towel for absorbing up water. So anyways, I always like these because they're super compact and I usually use them quite often uh, for like cleaning my hands or whatever else. They always come in nice and handy. All right, then something else that maybe you've seen before in some of my kits, um, I carry the cold forged fork. And so this actually comes in a credit card size tool here, like this. It has a, um, kind of like a, a butter knife here, and then you have the fork here. But generally, since I don't really need the butter knife, um, I generally carry the fork separately. And it really does come in handy. I've used it quite often. And again, just being so compact, uh, it fits really well into a kit like this. All right, then I have some Pepto-Bismol. Also one of the medications that I use quite often, or that get, gets asked for quite often. All right, some dental floss, dental pick there. Then I have these soap sheets. And so the name literally explains it. It's literally a thin, uh, thin sheet of, of soap. And so if you're washing your hands, uh, you know, this basically comes in really handy. <laughs> All right, then towards the bottom, I have some Band-Aids, some different sizes. Get these out. All right, so a larger one, small one, and I have one of the knuckle band-aids. It fits in here nice and tight. There we go. All right, so the knuckle band-aids, and then down below I have a sheet of paper, and on the inside I have some emergency contacts written down in case uh, if my, my, my phone dies and I need to get some numbers. I have that in there. All right, so that is all for this kit. And so let me know what you think. Uh, this is intended to be kind of like an urban EDC. Uh, so let me know what would you what you would carry in a kit like this. Uh, what do you think about what I chose, and what do you think is not needed? And so thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.